Hi everyone, I'm Melissa with Midnight Hour Oil and I wanted to come out real quickly and share with you a warning dream vision that I was given yesterday morning and um, and just ask you to be in prayer about this matter. Uh, so in, in this dream, I was being shown that uh, that we are right now in the middle of this coronavirus panic-demic. Okay, in the middle, and that's important. And as I was coming out of the dream, I saw a vision of the number 31, all right? And I believe the Holy Spirit was showing me that being in the middle is, is similar to being in the eye of a hurricane, where there's a time of calm, a time of peace, but then you go through the other side of the storm. And I feel that the Lord was showing me that we're about to head into the second part of the storm. We've had a little bit of calm, okay? We've had a little bit of peace, and we're getting ready to go through the next phase. Um, but the 31 that I saw, it could indicate that as of May 31st, we're gonna see some of these things start to really unfold where we're going through the second wave. I don't know but I felt like the Lord was drawing my attention to the 31st. Uh, so I just want to ask you to be in prayer about that and also to be in prayer about uh, what's going on right now in Minnesota uh, with the, the riots, of course, as a result of the black man who had been killed by the uh, pol white police officers. And you know, then we had down in Georgia uh, a young black man who was shot by um, some white men and I don't know if they were, I had heard they were former police officers. But, um, you know, this is all a part of the enemy's strategy, all right? How, how he tries to get people pitted against one another, race against race. Uh, the division is, is his strategy. This is how he uh, conquers people. This is how he conquers nations. And I'm just praying that people will not fall into this trap of hatred toward one another. All right, this is not the answer. And, uh, you know, just encourage you to join me in prayer uh, for all these people, you know, just to, to continue to remain at peace in their hearts and minds and, um, and not to, you know, be puppets in the NWO game. All right, where they try to create chaos so they can bring order, all right, a new world order. You know, we know, we know the strategies, we know what they're doing. Uh, let's just be as wise as serpents, church, as gentle as doves, as wise as serpents. All right, so I just wanted to give you this heads up, encourage you to be in prayer about these things that are coming, uh, praying that we're all going to just stay steady through this next phase of the storm uh, and just be ready. Just be ready for whatever uh, the Lord is bringing and, and focusing on what He's doing, okay? Because our Heavenly Father is sovereign and He is at work in all this. And let's not lose sight of that, all right? That He is doing something good. All right, church, as always, it is my prayer that we will all continue to keep our lamps burning bright while we wait for Jesus. I love you all. God bless you.